Squarespace review. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick look at how the performance of Squarespace is, the different features that they have, the different price plans, and if you want to get started with Squarespace today, check out the link in the description box down below to get started. Now let's get into it. Now Squarespace is a super popular website that enables you to build your own website online and absolutely for free if you want to get a free trial of Squarespace check out our link now with Squarespace you have a bunch of different tools that help you in uh, integrating multiple different features into your website you can add multiple different items like the scheduling tools and any other tool that you use they also have a bunch of different te website templates that you can pick out from and they have a bunch of different niches of templates as well so whatever industry that you are in in can be fulfilled with the Squarespace templates. Now, Squarespace in terms of pricing is pretty affordable and it has super competitive pricing. And if you want to get a free trial, you should check the link in the description box down below if you want a free trial of any of these plans. I have covered these plans in depth as well. So to go over it just briefly, the personal plan starts at $16 per month and their best value plan starts at $23. Your commerce basic one is the one that I recommend if you ever plan on selling products on your website, which starts at $27 a month and their commerce advanced starts at $49 a month where there are some basic features like free domain names with each one of these however with the premium ones you have automated checkouts you have checkout with your own domain as well as zero percent transactional fees on the commerce basic and advanced version of squarespace now just to get oh, go over the actual squarespace setup all you have to do to get started with squarespace is head on over to squarespace.com and click on get started now in terms of usability i found that even if you are someone that has never built a website before you will find that using Squarespace is really not that difficult the entire setup the entire login process is not very difficult at all and it is super easy for people that are not familiar with coding or are not familiar with like JavaScript you can still create a gorgeous and very customized website with Squarespace now you guys can see this is their template gallery you can choose whatever kind of template you want let's say I want a fashion related one so I I can just select that from over here it shows me multiple different templates i can get started with and some of their you know top picks these are super super uh intuitive and they are very appealing to look at so let's say i just want a basic template and i'm gonna go with this one because i really think this is a nice one so you can choose to preview a template and you can also just click on start with this template now in terms of usability of Squarespace, when I wanted to start off building my portfolio, it was super effective to have my booking linked directly into Squarespace, which is something that this platform does seamlessly. A lot of other website builders do have those features of adding plugins, but those plugins need so much customized setup. However, Squarespace allows you to do that very seamlessly and effectively. So first off, I'm just going to title my store. This is Sarah's store. And I'm just going to click on next, click on next over here, and we will just click on get started. Now, you guys will see that you have your little navigation panel on the left. You have the pages, so I can click on this section over here to see the pages of this specific template. And I'm just going to skip this for now, but I can just see this is like the entire page. This is like the home page. It is published. Then in, in my home page, I have the SEO settings, the social image, and the advanced settings as well. Now, let's take a look at some of these sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit this basic website builder and now you guys can see your basic navigation panel in the left side of your screen you have your pages design selling marketing scheduling asset library contacts and analytics now with that you also have your basic settings that will enable you to make your website private public or you can connect your own custom domain name you know it's everything is just a click away with squarespace you 
don't have to go through, you know, different menus and bars and sections. Everything just has the perfect amount of options for you. It's not overly complicated, yet it does not make it seem that you don't have a lot of options with Squarespace. Now, going into some of the design features that Squarespace has, you have your site styles, which basically allows you to set a theme for your entire website. You can set up standard fonts that you want to be applied throughout your website. And site styles are a great way to enable you to build your own brand, aesthetic, or image for your business. So I want to build a certain style. I can go on over here, click on these fonts over here, and I have my basic font combo that I want. Let's say I want this one. So I can click on that. And now I'm going to go on to back over here. And then after that, I want to change my base size to 14 pixels. And then after that, I have, you know, all of the global textiles. I can reset this as well. And let's say for buttons, I want a different style as well. So let's say I want the halyard micro style on my buttons. So I can select that. And let's say I want my size to be slightly larger on the buttons. So I can select that as well as the general style. So I want them to be italic or just normal and then the weight of the buttons which is basically going to be the thickness now i can just go back and this will allow me to make sure that your you know website is looking cohesive it looks like it's following the same aesthetic or the same vibe as the rest of your site after you've edited those you can save them alongside whenever you're making changes and then you can go back into the left navigation panel to start editing the next section of your website now after that you have your selling features your marketing features as well uh, assets and uh, scheduling features as well in your marketing features you can integrate email campaigns your seo management your pop-ups announcement bars and your google visitors or google stats over here as well now you guys can see if i want to do email marketing i won't have to go to to a third-party plan and you can do all of this as well simply by clicking on the link in the description box down below to get started with squarespace and their amazing website building plan plans now you guys can see email marketing is way too complicated on third-party platforms so this is going to be a great way for you to get started with email marketing without having to uh, sign up on a different platform provide your customer emails to a different platform and you can keep everything organized in one space now moving on to some of the other features that squarespace also has is your contacts now contacts are not something that you're going to find in a lot of other website builders because they're focused on website design so much that the main purpose of your website is neglected so with that we have a separate contact section in squarespace which has subscribers leads customers first-time customers repeat customers and donors this allows you to say Submit all of your customers as well as make sure you're able to provide them with adequate follow-up, support, VIP customer, sales, or anything that you want to do promotionally to promote your brand to your customers can all be done directly by this segmentation section. You also have the asset library which allows you to upload all of the media content that you want to potentially add to your website instead of having to manually add it on each individual page. You can upload all of your assets over here here create a folder of maybe let's say I'm, I'm launching like a christmas campaign or i'm launching anything it might be any event so for whatever holiday i am launching a campaign i can just create a folder with all of the images or all the assets that will be uploaded and i can just create that over there i don't have to you know scramble around and find images for each individual page when i have all of my media content images videos files all of that uploaded all in one section now if we go into the selling section the selling check section is going to focus on organizing and managing your inventory product payment or subscriptions you can also sell memberships and your customized merch with the squarespace basic plan however if you want to sell custom merch or if you want to add get more details or analytics on this you do have to uh, upgrade to a premium plan on squarespace now once you have completed your website you can just publish it and you guys can see the 
this is our free website for now and then i'm gonna click on the top right arrow this is what our website is looking like i can go back i think it looks pretty good so once you have your website ready you can go on ahead and publish it it's easy to do plus it allows you to have a lot of customization as well as the fact that you don't really have to worry about your website running into bugs or having to manage your hosting somewhere else you can just use the free version to basically manage all of the basic requirements to get your website up and running once your website is ready just simply head on over back to your squarespace dashboard and from there publish your design or publish your website and make it available to the public and it is going to be easy efficient simple and uh it's a treat to use squarespace to build your website because it gives you customization while still enabling you to create a very very nice design without any bugs or issues so once your website is ready you guys will be able to see your permissions over here as well and within those permission you will find all of the people that have been added to your website so you can invite contributors or authors if you have more than one people writing or managing your uh squarespace website now once you're once you have added all of your people as well they can start writing your articles or uploading your products while not having access to all of the features available on your squarespace website so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to better understand whether or not squarespace is the website builder for you it has a lot of amazing features and is quite good to use in terms of generally starting out it's affordable and a good solution for all of your basic online representation needs so i would definitely recommend personally after using it myself i really did like it and i do think if you want to get started you should check the link in the description box down below to get started for free and if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video